Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to um, Silo, and this is a live performance of Alaska. So, um, I, I don't know, when I first got Spotify in like 2022, 20, 2021, I forgot, but um, I like made a playlist that year, and every year I make a playlist, and I added one of his songs to the playlist because uh, Spotify recommends recommend songs to you so whatever i added a song to him i liked his voice but i didn't really like get more into him until this year when spotify recommended another song and i was like wait this voice sounds similar to that one song i added in 2022 no 2021 i think anyway um i was like this voice sounds really familiar and i really like the sound of his voice so i started listening to more of his songs this year and um i am obsessed with his voice <laughs> his voice is like asmr to me i don't know it's like hypnotizing i don't know it's just the tone of his voice is so good to me like if i heard him sing live in person uh my body might explode so that's how not obsessed but that's how much i really like his voice but anyway um i've never seen him perform live like in video or whatever so um let me stop talking let's get into this video and please subscribe let me know what else i should react to in the comments below um i think i tried to watch an interview with him i think he's canadian Actually, that's a lie. Um, I saw his colors performance. But actually, are colors performance actually live or I don't know. But I'm gonna. I think they're live. Uh, that's the first and only performance I've seen from him. Um, but besides that, this is the only other live performance I've seen. Still wanna be with you. Don't know if we we'll last. I've tried more times and I can count on to bring up my past. I'll drag you down to the bottom of and instead to the bottle of green. Cause the shit is hard to match. Maybe I'll cut a last girl. It's so interesting to hear this song perform live because um, I guess because uh, when like the studio version it's a little different like vocally um, like he can do more things in the studio so when he sings live it doesn't have um, the exact same feeling but I still like both versions and I still like his voice. A studio version or live version he's a really nice voice <laughs> and his falsettos Find you when I'm better. 
I'm laughing because I don't know why I'm so like hypnotized to his voice. Dang. I don't know. It feels like the song is longer in the studio. <laughs> the studio version. Is it the full song? Because when I listen to the song, it seems like, I don't know, maybe I'm in a trance when I listen to the song. Because um, I listen to the song, like if I'm on the subway or something. Uh, like I said, I listen to the song on repeat. And it doesn't seem this short, so maybe it's like a shorter version. But um, I think I could listen to his voice all day. Like I said, his voice is like, I don't know, ASMR, but not really ASMR, but it's just the tone of his voice. I could listen to it. I don't know. When he sings, it's just interesting for me, I guess. I wouldn't call it an obsession, <laughs> but maybe a borderline. But uh, yeah, I really like his voice. And um, I'm glad that I got more into his music this year. And I am looking forward to more of his projects in the future. And I think I saw on his Instagram that he's um, going to go on tour, I think in America or something. But um, if you ever come to Korea, um, I'll try to go to your concert. But um, anyway, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments below. And if you want to see my experiences in Korea, you can check out my first channel, Sexy V. And if you want to see my other socials, it's right here under my face. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.